Before we dive into the announcement, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It represents the pinnacle of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can recreate the very conditions of the universe's birth. But could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations, with 23 member states and thousands of scientists. It's a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's just one part of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a racetrack, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles in a race against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The collisions create temperatures a million times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four locations around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the position of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as colossal cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that offer clues to the universe's fundamental building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. But with every answer comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new challenge. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unlock forces we cannot control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human understanding are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a voice of authority in the world of particle physics, has recently made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also went on to explain the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and explore dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept, it's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong. Back in 1978, the Russian physicist Anat Borsky experienced a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Proino, Russia, a malfunction led to his head accidentally coming into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Borsky's experience was otherworldly. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning through tissue and bone. Yet, he remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, 
leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, astonishingly, Borsky's intellectual capabilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unforeseen reactions, the very fabric of space and time being manipulated, these are not the stuff of science fiction, but real concerns voiced by some in the scientific community. One of the most alarming and captivating concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such an entity, even on a microscopic scale, is shocking to both the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Though scientists at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly, the mere possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It has to do with the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy weight is dropped onto it. The fabric bends and curves, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. That's a simplistic metaphor for what could happen in the LHC. In the world of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both bizarre and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. This enigmatic dance of particles has even caught the attention of some world-famous scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, a cosmic event that would not only destroy the Earth but the entire universe itself. The esteemed British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed his concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future prospects for humanity, he explored the potential risks associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were not merely cautionary, they were tinged with a sense of existential dread. He spoke of a worst-case scenario where an ill-fated experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability could, in theory, trigger a phase transition that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time, resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rees's concerns were not limited to theoretical musings. He assigned a probability to these catastrophic outcomes, albeit a low one. But even a minuscule chance, he argued, should give us pause. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities, run the simulations, and examined the theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration, recognizing that there are widespread fears and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He emphasized that there are rigorous safety measures in place, extensive reviews and protocols that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost care. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally encounters, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so tiny and so unstable that it would evaporate in a flash of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic wonder, a glimpse into the abyss, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. This notion, though largely dismissed by the scientific community, has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not understand? 
The idea of opening a portal to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, adding fuel to the fire of uncertainty. But how did this idea come to be, and what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, but they could theoretically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now imagine the LHC as a cosmic key unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of time. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples or vibrations that probe these hidden dimensions. It is the stuff of science fiction, but it has a basis in the mathematics of string theory. Could we unknowingly open a doorway to another world, or worse, unleash something we cannot control? So what does this all mean for humanity's future? Should we halt our pursuit of knowledge for fear of the unknown? Or should we press forward, understanding that the pursuit of discovery is both a privilege and a responsibility? The questions raised by the LHC's experiments are vast and profound, and the answers will continue to shape our understanding of the universe and our place within it. One thing is certain, the LHC has the potential to change everything we know about the cosmos and our very existence. But with that knowledge comes a terrifying realization. There are some things that are best left undiscovered. As the LHC continues to push the limits of our understanding of the universe, its very existence serves as a reminder of the dual-edged nature of human curiosity. While the pursuit of knowledge and discovery is noble, the unknowns associated with particle accelerators like the LHC challenge us to reconsider the balance between scientific advancement and the potential risks involved. The excitement around the LHC is not just about unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, but also about confronting the deepest fears of what could go wrong. One of the fundamental questions raised by CERN's experiments is whether humanity is prepared to handle the consequences of these discoveries. The LHC's primary goal, to unlock the secrets of the universe, relies heavily on exploring quantum physics, an area that defies intuition. As we attempt to understand the very forces that govern existence, scientists are increasingly finding that the rules of classical physics no longer apply at the quantum level. This bizarre world of subatomic particles operates according to probabilities rather than certainties, making predictions difficult and adding to the inherent risks. In fact, one of the most intriguing outcomes of the LHC's research has been its investigation into quantum fluctuations. These tiny, seemingly insignificant disturbances in the vacuum of space can give rise to phenomena that have never before been observed. One such concept that has come to the forefront is the idea of quantum tunneling, where particles can move through barriers that, according to classical physics, they should never be able to cross. In a way, this mirrors the uncertainty and unpredictability that surrounds the work being done at CERN. It is a reminder that, while we can observe and measure these tiny particles with incredible precision, the outcomes may still be governed by forces we do not fully understand. Yet, as unsettling as the risks may seem, the allure of discovery and the potential to answer questions that have lingered for centuries cannot be denied. The exploration of dark matter, for example, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Dark matter makes up around 85% of the universe's mass, yet it remains invisible and undetectable by current instruments. The LHC's experiments, with their ability to manipulate particle collisions at extremely high energies, could offer the breakthrough that physicists have been waiting for, potentially providing the first tangible evidence of this elusive material. However, there are those who believe that the drive for discovery may be clouding our judgment. Critics of the LHC often point out that, while the potential benefits are exciting, the risks could be catastrophic. One of the most alarming aspects of the LHC is its ability to create conditions similar to those that existed in the moments following the Big Bang. If a microscopic black hole were to form, it could create unpredictable consequences. While scientists insist that such a black hole would evaporate within nanoseconds, some argue that we cannot be so certain. The idea that we could recreate the extreme conditions of the early universe comes with a grave responsibility, and some fear that humanity's ability to control this power is still far too limited. 
the LHC's ability to potentially create otherworldly phenomena is not just confined to black holes. In theoretical physics, there is a concept known as the multiverse. The idea that there may be an infinite number of parallel universes, each with its own distinct properties. Some have speculated that the experiments at CERN could give us a glimpse into these other universes. While this remains highly speculative, it highlights the broader implications of the work being done at the LHC. What if we could somehow interact with or even manipulate these alternate realities? The very thought sends a ripple through both the scientific community and the public. Moreover, there is a broader ethical question that arises from all of this. Should humanity seek to push the boundaries of scientific understanding without fully knowing the consequences? As with any powerful tool, there is the risk of misuse, either intentional or unintentional. Historically, humanity has made discoveries that were once thought impossible, from nuclear energy to genetic manipulation. While these discoveries have led to incredible advances in medicine, technology, and energy, they have also brought about unintended consequences, some of which have been disastrous. In this light, the work at CERN may be a harbinger of both the promise and peril that comes with scientific progress. It asks us to consider whether the pursuit of knowledge, no matter how noble, is always worth the potential costs. The LHC represents not only a groundbreaking experiment in particle physics, but also a metaphor for the broader human quest to understand our place in the universe. And as we delve deeper into the fabric of reality, we must ask ourselves, what are we prepared to risk in the name of discovery?